Unmasking Unjust Comparisons, the Inequity of Parenthood versus Workplace Misconduct. The comparison between the impact of parenthood on women's careers and workplace misconduct, such as sexual assault, on men's careers is not only inaccurate but deeply troubling. Such comparisons trivialize the gravity of workplace misconduct and unfairly burden women who choose to have children. In this article, we will critically analyze this comparison and emphasize the importance of supporting victims in both scenarios without perpetuating harmful stereotypes. The fallacy of comparison. It is essential to recognize that comparing parenthood to workplace misconduct is fundamentally flawed. These two issues are vastly different in nature and should not be equated. Parenthood is a personal choice and a natural part of life for many individuals, while workplace misconduct is a violation of personal boundaries and is often a criminal offense. The impact of parenthood on women. Parenthood, especially for women, can indeed present challenges in balancing career and family responsibilities. The gender pay gap, unequal division of household labor, and inadequate parental leave policies are just some of the structural issues that disproportionately affect women's careers when they become parents. However, framing this as a choice that hurts women's careers is misleading. It is a societal issue rooted in gender inequality, not a consequence of personal decisions. The Seriousness of Workplace Misconduct Comparing the impact of parenthood to workplace misconduct, such as sexual assault, is deeply inappropriate and offensive. Sexual assault is a traumatic violation of an individual's bodily autonomy and a criminal act. It should never be trivialized or compared to any other life event or decision. Supporting Victims in Both Scenarios it is crucial to support victims in both scenarios without perpetuating harmful comparisons. Victims of workplace misconduct, including sexual assault, deserve empathy, belief, and justice. Similarly, individuals who choose parenthood should not face career penalties or societal judgment. Instead, they should be supported through policies and cultural shifts that promote work-life balance, gender equality, and family-friendly workplaces. Conclusion, Rejecting Harmful Comparisons Comparing the impact of parenthood to workplace misconduct is not only factually incorrect but also insensitive and damaging. Both issues deserve our attention and support, but they should be addressed independently, recognizing their unique challenges and contexts. It is vital to challenge stereotypes, advocate for gender equality, and ensure that victims of workplace misconduct and those navigating parenthood are treated with empathy and fairness without harmful comparisons.